Hello friend, you're welcome to another power-packed episode of GCK Daily. We're excited and happy to have you here with us today. So please stick around to receive all that God has in store for you today. God bless you as you do so. You know, loyalty is something that we all expect from our friends and family. And in the same vein, we are loyal to those who we hold dear. Our loyalty is a sign of commitment and love. You know, in the same way, God expects loyalty from us. All God asks of us is that we know Him. Not simply because Jesus died and rose, but because God is ours and we are His. We owe no one else our deepest devotion. Let's listen to renew our devotion. The loyal trust, your loyal, no more to the devil. You are loyal, no more to your flesh. You are loyal, no more to a secret cult. You are loyal, no more to a gang. You are loyal, no, no more to a corrupt society. You turn around and with your mouth, you had declared you were going to be loyal to that gang. But they're ruining your life. And with your tongue, you have made covenant with Satan, with the devil, that you'll be loyal to him. And your tongue has brought you into great problem. But now you turn around. You say, Satan is not my creator. Is Satan your creator? Gang, the gang is not my creator. Is the gang your creator? That society, corrupt society, is not my creator. A day your creator, and then you remember the Lord, you remember your creator. You say, with my tongue, I ignorantly promised and covenanted with all those agents of Satan that I'll be for them forever. But now, I withdraw my loyalty from Satan. Can I hear you? I withdraw my loyalty from that gang. I withdraw my loyalty from uh, association, the association of criminals. I withdraw my loyalty from the people that bring confusion, corruption, and devastation, destruction in my life. Now, I bring my loyalty to Jesus. Anybody there? Loyalty to Jesus. Loyalty to our creator. Loyalty to our redeemer. And then as you do that, and you come with loyal trust, every problem will be over. Yeah. All that Satan had done, when you made covenant through the agents of Satan, everything will be canceled in your life. Tonight, I welcome you to the peace of God. I welcome you to the joy of salvation. I welcome you to the total supernatural liberation coming upon your life tonight in Jesus' name. As you trust him, as you believe him, it will take away all the pressure and all the devastation of the devil and of sickness, disease out of your life in Jesus' name. Hello friends, it's Bob Fitz here, worship leader and gospel artist, and you are watching GCK Daily. My friend, it's true that it can be very scary to leave dark spiritual societies like cults and gangs for Christ. Here's a scripture to encourage you. The Word of God tells us to fear not because Jesus has overcome the world. It also tells us that greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Here are three things to encourage you, my friend. Number one, he who watches over you neither slumbers nor sleeps. Secondly, it is impossible for the Lord to abandon or harm you. And thirdly, through Christ, you are more than a conqueror. It is impossible and illegal for Satan to harm what does not belong to him, including you, my friend, including you. 
Look at Mark, Mark chapter 16. In Mark chapter 16, reading from verse 15, it says, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. And then it tells us in verse 16, He that believeth, those are the people that trust, he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. He that believeth not, what does that mean? The one that says, uh -uh, I don't want to give my loyalty to Christ. I don't want to trust in Christ. I don't want to lean on Christ. I don't want to believe on Christ. He that believeth not shall be damned. That's not you. I say that's not you. But you come and then you believe on the Lord. You say, Lord, here am I. I trust in you today and I'll be loyal by your grace. I'll be totally dependent upon you. I will lean on you. I trust you. I believe you. I hand over the rest of my life unto you. Salvation immediately will come to you. And then it says in verse 17, it says, And these signs shall follow them that believe. These signs shall follow them that believe you'll carry your miracle home today. Because as you trust and as you believe, as you come to the Lord and you say there's total separation between you and Satan, total separation between you and that gang, total separation between you and the secret cult, total separation between you and all the things you were in line on before, the waistband, you throw it away, and the juju, you throw it away, your faith is now only in Christ. Signs will follow you. Yeah. Miracles will follow you. Yeah. Healing will follow you. This sign shall follow them that believe. Those that believe here, the people who believe in every location, the people who believe in every country, and they believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, they know the price of their salvation had been fully paid on the cross of Calvary. And now all they need to do is come away from all those things of the past and come to the Lord and salvation will be yours. And then it says, in my name, they shall cast out devils. Once you disown the devil, and you remove your loyalty away from the devil, and you say, no, I'm not following you anymore. No, I'm not going to honor that evil covenant anymore. Then the power of Satan will be broken out of your life. They shall speak with new tongues. They will not be speaking with the tongue of cursing, the, the tongue of abusive language, and the tongue that is proud, and the tongue that is perverse. They will not be speaking with tongues that is polluted anymore. They will not be speaking with the tongue that is pessimistic anymore. A new tongue, a chain tongue, and a renewed language, they will speak with new tongues. I pronounce it upon your life in Jesus' name. And then in verse 18, it says, They shall take off serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. You will not die before your time. You will not die another person's death. All you need to do is come to Christ, is have your loyal trust in Christ, and then you will live your life to the full. So my friend, I want to thank you so much for joining us. If you haven't given your life to Christ, I would implore you to do so because the Bible tells us that now, now is the appointed time. Keep on standing and praying along with you now, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you for those who have understood your call for them to come out. And they have responded and they have come out. And I pray the forgiveness of the Lord will come to every one of them right now in Jesus' name. I pray that your salvation, eternal life, 
will come to them now in Jesus' name. And the power for a new life, a righteous life, will come to everyone now in Jesus' name. Let the joy of salvation come to them. And let the peace that comes with salvation come in their hearts right now. And give them the power to go and live as new creatures in Christ. Confirm it, O Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you because you cannot fail. What you have said you will do, you will do. You said, come unto me. And then you said, I'll give you rest. I pray, Lord, that rest, that miracle, that healing, that deliverance, Perform it now in Jesus' name. The swap is sanity. I command that evil spirit come out in Jesus' name. Blind eyes be opened in Jesus' name. Those who are deaf and dumb. Receive your hearing. Receive your speaking. Performance right now in your body in Jesus' name. You have any swelling, goiter, hunchback, elephantiasis, hernia? Come out in Jesus' name. Also be healed in Jesus' name. Cancer, be healed in Jesus' name. Your kidney, your lungs, your livers, receive the miracle touch right now. Pile, you are healed in Jesus' name. HIV AIDS, you are healed in Jesus' name. I pray every mountain move out right now. Every sickness be healed right now. Every infirmity be removed right now. Every mountain in your life come out in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It is done. It is done. There is a performance in every life. In Jesus' name we pray. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great, how great. Thou art. Amen. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to me. How great Thou art! Yeah, yeah. How great Thou art! My God, when I in awesome wonder consider all the worlds thy hands have made. Thank you for joining us for another episode of GCK Daily, Global Crusade with Queen. We are sure that this episode has been a great reminder of God's readiness to intervene in the matters of your soul and life. So please check us out at gckhq.org and connect with us via our social media handles. Please also like and subscribe and share these videos. We look forward to seeing you at the next episode of GCK Daily. And we'd love for you to join us at our next Global Crusade.
Thank you.